I get so many people who ask me every single day, how do you get better at the game? How do you become comp? So I came up with a little guide for you guys to get better or become comp, whatever you guys want to call it. So don't skip ahead in this video. Y'all don't want to miss none of the tips I give y'all. Watch this video in full, man. The gameplay in the background actually has nothing to do with what I'm talking about in the video. It's just for you guys not to get bored and have something to watch because the video is long. If y'all enjoyed this video or it helps out anyway, drop a like. Drop a sub if you're new to the channel, man. Like I said, don't skip ahead in the video, and let's get right into it, bro. And here we go. Taylor brought the fucking flex. Tell me what you waiting for. What? Money, yeah, way more. Yo, what it do, you two? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Showtime Rob. Back on the love. Banger, man. That's all I'm dropping for y'all boys, man. And in this video, bro, like, I'm dropping straight knowledge on y'all, man. I was up late, and I was just thinking, bro, like, a whole bunch of people ask me, how do you become a comp player? Or not even how to become a comp player, but how to get better at the game. And, like, I really want to help y'all, man. So, I was just, like, I was up, bro, just late last night, and I'm just... It's like six o'clock in the morning, and I just start writing in my notes how to be, how to get better at a game. But I start relating it back to real life, bro. And I just want to take y'all back real quick, man. I played college basketball, but I wasn't always as good as I was, man. Back in like the ninth grade in high school, I got, I was about to get cut from my high school team, and I used to go to this gym called the JCC. I used to go with my friend. And I would go up there every single day and I would just get bullied. Like, not bullied, not like for real bullied, but like bullied on the court. Like, people wouldn't even want to play with me. Uh, my, my real life friends wouldn't want to play with me sometimes. I would just always get beat, bro. And it would just, it would hurt my feelings so bad, bro, that it made me work harder. It made me work harder each and every day. And I would wake up early, six o'clock, have my mom take me to the gym, six o'clock in the morning, before school, after school. Like, I would just do, before I got a, a car and everything, once I got a car, it was a wrap, man. Like, I was going to the gym on my own. But just, like, to bring into this, to, I guess, intro into this video, y'all feel me, man. I just used to work my ass off to get better at basketball in real life. And that's how I got to be able to play college basketball. Whether it's Division One, Two, or Three, Juco, any of that, bro. I played college basketball. I went from almost getting cut in ninth grade to playing college basketball. And I start at point guard. But, man, let's get back on 2K. And to this video, bro, my number one thing to getting better or becoming a calm player is practice, man. Without practice, like I just said in that story, you're not going to get better. You need practice. You have to get better, bro. You have to get better at the game. Every comp player in the game practices. You don't get better at anything in life without practicing. You can go to your favorite YouTuber, your favorite streamer, and ask them, do you practice? They will tell you, I promise you they practice. That's a fact. They in their mind court, they practicing. There's a couple different ways you could do this. You could just do shoot arounds. You can shoot on the, the ball machine, the gun. But another good way, bro, is having your, your AI teammates from your my career team come. And especially if you're a dribbler, especially if you are a guard slash dribbler, whatever, bro, this helps a lot. Like, I play on the Lakers on majority of my team. So I have LeBron come, and I just try to beat up on LeBron. And I'm telling you, if you can dribble against an AI, especially LeBron James, you can dribble against anybody in this game. I don't care if they're the best lock in the game. You can dribble against them. Trust me, it helps a lot, bro. I'm trying to tell you, it gets you 10 times better at dribbling, bro. As any of your favorite streamers, I'm telling you, they practice, bro. Like you can't get you can't get better at anything in life without practicing. So make sure you guys do that. Check that out. My number two thing to becoming better or becoming a comp player is play people who are better than you. Like I I, I don't get it. It's it's like hilarious to me, bro, that I see people running every single day from me. I understand I'm a legend. What do you have to lose? Like, if I beat you, I'm supposed to beat you. If you beat me, like, you just, you beat a legend. That's, hey, thumbs up, y'all feel me? But I see people running every single day from people who are better than them. And I don't understand the mindset because my mindset has always been like, 
I'm going to bust your ass no matter who you are. Sorry for my language, y'all feel me? But I'm going to bust your ass no matter who. Like, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're the biggest YouTuber out there. I'm not afraid of you. And that's how that's how my, my mindset is in real life. That's why I feel like I'm such, like, just mentally on a different level than anybody else, any of my friends. And I don't care who you are, bro. I don't care if you're Michael Jeffrey Jordan. If we play one-on-one -on -one or we play against each other, my mentality is to dog you. Is to it's doggy dog, especially where I'm from, it's doggy dog, y'all feel me? So I don't understand how y'all pay sixty dollars, eighty dollars, a hundred dollars for the game, bro. Or y'all get your parents to pay it and then y'all run. Like that's the that's the point of the game, is to play the game. So why y'all paying money to run away? Y'all get what I'm saying, bro? So play people who are better than you, bro. It makes you better. It makes you better as a player. If you lose, you lose. Like, the worst they're going to do is what? Take a picture, take a screenshot. They're going to come game chat, say something. If they want to make it into a video, F it. They want to make it into a video. I was on Duke Dennis' video. Like, it doesn't matter to me. You feel me? He's better than me. He's higher up than me. That's just a stepping stool for me and preach to get better at the game. Y'all feel me? Like, people was clowning me for getting dubbed like that. And I'm just like, I mean, it's Duke Dennis, and he was with his full team. I was with preaching a random. It doesn't matter to me, bro. He dubbed me. He's supposed to dub me, honestly. He's supposed to get that win. I want to play comp. I want to play people who are better than me, bro. So, y'all feel me? Take y'all L and learn from it. That's what. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. Take y'all L and learn from it. Keep it moving. Get better at the game. My number three, my number three tip is learn pick and roll offense and defense. Like, all comp players understand the concept of pick and roll, whether they're on offense or defense. I don't care if you ISO or you use screens. Against certain players, you are not, trust me, you're not going to be able to ISO. The best ISO players in the world can't ISO against these two-way slashers, these two-way finishers with 99 lateral and 99 speed. Like, it's just, I'm telling y'all, it's impossible. It, to me, honestly, it takes no skill to play pair lock. I, I'm gonna just throw it out there. It takes no skill. You have a 90. If you make them right, you got a 99 lateral quickness and a 99 speed. Like I said, like that, you're locking anybody up. But what I'm getting out of this is if you know how to ISO and then you understand how to use the pick and roll, like you can win. You can win against anybody. You can direct your team. You can. You can be a floor general out there. Basically, you can be LeBron James, direct your team, help your team win out a lot more. And then on defense, on the defensive side, you have to understand pick and roll defense. Like you have to understand the rotations, communication, when to drop, when the like when he's gonna slip, how to hedge, bro. I cannot tell y'all how many randoms I play with, and I say hedge the screen hard, and they have no idea what I'm talking about. They have absolutely no idea what hedges hard hedge soft hedge they just have no clue and it is mind-blowing to me bro it's mind-blowing that y'all don't understand what hedging is bro so you gotta have iq bro especially to be a comp player you gotta have iq you gotta understand stuff you gotta communicate and that takes me into number four tip number four bro learn rotations and learn how to talk on defense if y'all go to any comp players party stream whatever I promise you they are talking, they are communicating, yo, hedge it hard, yo, I'm dropping, yo, rotate, that, just like in Call of Duty, if y'all ever watched Call of Duty, those teams are, they're, like, on one string, they're a unit, they, they talking, communicating, bro, if you ever go to a college basketball game, even top high school basketball games on defense, what are they doing, they're talking, they are talking, trust me, I play basketball, like I said, I play college basketball, I'm what? I'm going into my third year, my junior year, and I start. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, you have to talk on defense, bro. Talking is one of the most important things on defense. You could be a trash defender, but if you understand the concept of defense and you understand rotations, I promise you, you're going to be 10 times better. My number five tip, know your player. Know your build, know your player, know what he can and can't do. Don't be out there trying to do things that your player just can't do because you're going to lose your guy. You're going to lose your team games, honestly. Like, if you're a slasher, don't don't 
come out here shooting range extended shots that you need Hall of Fame range. I'm not telling you don't shoot threes because if you're a pair slasher, of course, most people are gonna sag off you. So I'm hoping you can shoot a little bit, but don't out be out here trying to dribble and quick stop and hide behind screens. Like know your player, know your archetype, learn them. Like no matter if you got five builds, two builds, it don't matter. Learn each and every build, how they play, understand how to be able to fit into a system i guess and run with the right lineup bro don't run with a lineup that's going to expose you and just y'all feel me not be not give you the full potential that your build can play at you want to be able to you know maximize your potential and be the best you can be on that build that takes me into tip number six my last and final tip Win percentage means nothing. Win percentage means nothing at all, bro. I have seen six, 50 and 60 win percentage, and they will dog some of y'all. I promise y'all, they will dog some of y'all, bro. Like, a lot of people, oh, I have an 80, I have a 75, I have an 80 win percentage. Da, 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 I play comp stage. All of this stuff, bro. I promise you, some of them guys out there with the 50 and 60 Win percentage, they will dog you. I probably they will dog you up and down the court, make you leave the whole park, bro. For a perfect example, certified cleaner, one of the, he's a big. I play with him almost every day, every other day, something like that. He plays on his big, but on his BP offensive threat, he's a dog. I promise y'all, you cannot guard him. He's a dog. I promise y'all, he has a 55 win percentage. Now look, y'all. Some of y'all might look at that like, yo. He's trash. Like, he's garbage. I'm going to play him. He's trash. Or I'm not going to play with him because he's trash. But he plays with random because he has nobody to play with. But he still wants to hit legend. He's he's about to be an E3 right now. He's about to hit a, he's about to hit mascots. About to hit Elite 3. But he plays with randoms all the time because he wants to get better at the game. He wants to play comp. He wants to get better at the game. So, that 55 win percentage compared to your 68 or 71, 75, whatever you compare... Whatever you say you are combat, I don't know. I have an 83 win percentage, I think, something like that. I truly don't care. I don't care if it drops or if it goes up. It's some, I like I said, I know it's some guys out there with 60 win percentage who are better than me. Like, that's just the truth about it. If you look at some of these comp player win percentages, they're bad. They're not, I'm not bad. They're not like 40 or anything, but they're 50, 60, 70. Like, they're not the greatest, but that's because they're in the comp stage. They're always playing comp. That's what comp stage is. They're always playing comp. So they lose sometimes. They lose, they win, they take their L, like I said, and they bounce back from it, they learn from it. Trust me, bro. I used to have this friend, not last year, but 2K, what was it? 18, I think it was, bro. I think it was 2K18. Maybe it was last year. No, it was definitely, it was 2K19, bro. Cause it was the, no, the neighborhood was in 18 too. But it was definitely 2K19, it was last year, bro. Cause I had a lock. And he had a guard. I had a 6'10 pair lock. <laughs> and he had a guard. He had some type of guard. I can't even remember. But he used to, for real, like, look at people's win percentages before we even play with him. And if it was too high, he wouldn't play him. And that's just mind-blowing to me because I'm just like, wh like, why are you running from comp? Like, this is competition. This is how we test ourselves against comp and make ourselves better you feel me at the game like we can't just i'm not just trying to play bums all day i'm not gonna get any better at the game like and then i'm gonna actually run into somebody who's comp and i'm gonna just be out there like yo you got an 86 uh, 87 win percentage for what like you over here getting 21 to 10 21 to 11 and you're not doing anything at all but that's because i didn't play bums on so i had to more of the story is i had to stop playing with him because that's just weird to me honestly i just don't like that man it's all about your mentality. To be a comp player, you, you have to have the right mentality. Like, I promise you, a comp guard, his mentality is to dog the other team no matter what. Dog, like, you, I'm going to control the game. A comp lockdown is I'm going to lock down their best player. And a comp big is I'm going to outboard and then lock up the other big. Like, it's just about your mentality, bro. The Mamba mentality. Rest in peace to my guy, Kobe. Michael Jordan, as y'all seen, if y'all watch the documentary, his mentality was just different, bro. Like, you just got to be different. To be a comp player, you got to be different. Your mindset has to be different. You can't be scared of nobody, bro. That's basically what this video is about. Just your mentality, how to be better at the game. Y'all feel me? 
and just keep practicing bro keep practicing playing people who are better than you don't ever 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 just sit there and play bots all day just play bums all day because you're not going to get better at the game man look for example i wagered flow what a month ago two months ago something like that i wagered flow 3v3 and i got swept i got i streamed in everything i got swept 4-0 the first three games honestly was close the four game the fourth game was a blowout but the first three games was close honestly i did not back down and hey Flo told me in my stream mad respect and that to me bro that means a lot because i could have just simply backed down after the first the first two l's i could have just backed down bro we did not back down i didn't give up bro Flo is better than me he is like i can say that he is better than me but that showed me where i'm at as a 2k player and where i try where i'm trying to get to as a 2k player so losing to him that didn't mean nothing to me some people clown me for that too but my real supporters they back me on it they understand like flow is better than me like i understand that he is better than me flow jerk that's what i'm talking about he plays with the monster if y'all don't know who i'm talking about but flow underscore jerk flow jerk whatever y'all want to call him he plays with the monster y'all know the monster i'm pretty sure everybody knows the monster but I lost to him, bro, and it didn't mean nothing to me. Like, I was upset. I kind of lost money. That's just me being competitive, but was I embarrassed that I lost? No. Like, I didn't care. Did I care about my win percentage? No. Like, I wanted to beat him. Me as a competitor, I wanted to beat him, bro. So, you just had to have a different mindset to be a comp player. You got to understand a couple different things. You got to practice, bro, and just take all these tips into consideration when y'all trying to get better at the game, I get guys who tell me every day, who ask me every day, how do you get better at the game? How do you become a calm player? All of this stuff, bro. And I also have subs who be like, I'm in a bum park. Pull up on me. Like, why would I ever want? First off, I'm a legend. Why would I ever want to do that? Why am I sitting here playing bums? I understand I'm trying to help my boys get rep so they get hit legend. But why would they want to play bums? Like, I, I honestly hate when... Any subscriber says that to me. I have a couple who said it to me, and I hate it so much. I'm in a bum park. I'm in a bum park. Pull up. Like, no. I'm not doing that. I'm not pulling up on a in a bum park, bro. I'm not playing box all day. Now, I'm not like, we play park. Yes, we do play park. But then we go to stage. We play pro-am. We do all of that, bro. But I'm not scared of anybody, bro. Y'all won't ever see me running from anybody. That's a fact. That is a fact, bro. So, if y'all enjoyed this video, if it helped, drop a like for me. Drop, if you're not subscribed, bro, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so y'all never miss a video or a live stream. And let's turn up, bro. I'm trying to see y'all out here becoming calm players, becoming better at the game, bro. We almost monetized, so that is crazy, bro. I know this video is kind of long, but I had to drop some knowledge on y'all boys, bro. Y'all feel me? Because this is all I do is drop big, big, big bangers. Not no little bangers, but the big bangers, y'all feel me? Try to help y'all boys out, bro. Like I said, drop a sub if you're not subbed already. Hopefully, this video made you want to sub, bro. Hopefully, it helped out. And your boy out, man. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, bro. Let's get it.